I feel like people forget Nirvana's Tacoma connection pretty regularly because Kurt Cobain was from Aberdeen and then the band is most, I think, famously associated with Seattle. But Tacoma has some really serious roots on the whole thing. Not only did Nirvana perform for the first time ever as Nirvana here in Tacoma after trying out a few other band names like Pen Cap Chew, which is particularly one of my favorites, and Bliss, but they also rented this converted barn in 1991, and that's where they recorded and wrote the demo for Nevermind. It was this old, funky barn, kind of in the UP district, down behind the Cheers bar, where they found this place for cheap. It was covered in like brown shag carpeting all along the walls. And there's so little documentation I've been able to find of the like barn itself in pictures, but there's a ton of written history about the fact that they got there. And it was one of the first places that the band started using recording equipment because they would have jam sessions and they'd get all this really good music and then they would forget it. So it was the first place where they're like, oh shoot, we should probably, we should probably be recording this. So all of this music that ends up going into their debut album, Nevermind, written and recorded here in this old barn that has been destroyed. One of the most important parts of Nirvana's history and legacy erased forever. Thanks so much. But there is some interesting footage. You can find this guy called The Observer online who went through and actually found pieces of the old barn after it had been demolished and saved them. But... Just in case you were curious, is there in fact a Tacoma connection to Nirvana? Well, quite a few as a matter of fact.